The women drove up the mountain that night. Gabriella's fear probably outweighed by her unwillingness to allow Jeanette to go alone. Their car was seen three times. At 7 p.m. a young magistrate, who knew it well, saw it in the centre of Sarnarana at 7.30. The caretaker of the Hermitage Hotel at Sassoretto, driving home the mountain, was waved down by a woman from a car who told him to drive slowly because further down the road two cars had stopped to put, the snow, put on snow chains. The women's description exactly fitted that of Gabriella. Later, he saw two cars and three men. Valori of the Sibylla later saw three cars, one just like the black Peugeot he had seen earlier in his car park. Seized and blindfolded. Before this convoy reached the cottages, the two women saw that the road had been partly blocked by a snowdrift. They stopped, parked and transferred to one of the cars behind them, which had chains. The three men probably did not know at which of the scattered cottages they were expected. The brief fire and the tablecloth on one of the balconies was a signal for them. The two women entered the cottage, expecting to conclude a business deal, and were seized by the kidnappers. They were blindfolded with rags on their they were blindfolded with rags on which their hair was later found, tied up and put in the bathroom when they were given a meal. Gabriella managed to take Gabriella managed to take and hide a fork for possible use as a weapon. From the cottage the women were probably taken within hours to a mountain farm in the area. In the course of the next few days, either Janet May succeeded in convincing the kidnappers that she was no longer a member of the Lothschild family, or the gang learned this for themselves. It is, probably, it is probable that the fate of the two women was inevitable anyway. They could identify at least three of the gang, including the intermediary. The women were murdered and their bodies dumped in the place where they were found. Probably, probably some days or even weeks later, when the weather had improved and the mountain spot was more easily accessible, their watches were synchronized, presumably in a hope of making their deaths, deaths look like an accident, such as a fall, in which both watches might have been broken at the same moment. But if this is the case, the murderers, <coughs> excuse me, murderers, would have seemed to have made a very stupid mistake. They altered the watches to give the same time, but did not ensure that they had that they gave the same date. It must be emphasized that all this is a theory, but it is only explanation and so far advanced that fits all the facts. So if they if they've been murdered, then the murderer is still out there. That's the personal thought. What certainly is not a theory, however, is that they match a far from being a crime free area as everyone in the region, including the police, claimed <coughs> turns out to be a centre of Sardinian kidnapping and a favourite holding area for victims. But there is, there are enough inexplicable ic angles to the affair to make it impossible to close the file. As one Italian police captain put it, time and time again some of the stranger coincidences in this late case led us to believe that they were on the verge of finding the answer. But every single time we have ended up with nothing but a handful of flies. That concludes the case that I'm holding in my hand. Mm, con conclusion. A conclusion is very difficult at the moment. However, it seems like a family affair. It seems like a... With all the evidence in my mind, it's very difficult to make any kind of assumption or conclusion. Thank you very much for listening.